AI guys. This is Bakapa here. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to distribute your automation script execution in multiple devices. And also I'll be discussing how to execute your mobile automation script parallel. So before moving on to the, this, these two topics, so this is my uh, hub running. So already there are two nodes are registered to this hub, right? So if you look at this UI also, grid console, you'll be seeing that there are two nodes are registered to this particular hub, right? So simply I'll go to the Eclipse ID now. So this is a script we have executed in the Selenium grid. So on the Selenium grid, right? So what I'll do, I'll uncomment this line number 19 and also I'll uncomment the under three setting capabilities. So what I'll do, so actually this test was running on the first device, right? So uh, we'll be executing the this entire whole class. So I'll add one more test. So first test will get executed in the first device and the second test will get executed on the second device. So what I'll do, simply I'll copy this entire test. Before copying this entire test, so simply I'll edit the system.out.println statement. Test one, execution started. Test one, execution ended. So I'll copy whole test now. So then I'll paste it down. So I'll rename this test one with the test two. Then rest everything will be same. So whenever you are executing your script in a different machines, whenever you are distributing your automation execution in a different different devices. So what you need to do, you need to first set the UDID and also you need to set the system port. So UDID is the one you can get it from the ADB devices. So my first test will run on the first device that is a emulator triple five four and the I wanted to execute my test two on the emulator hyphen triple five six. So simply I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. So that's it. So again I need to add the system port for the test two. I wanted to execute on execute on the node two, right? So I'll go to the JSON file that is a node2.json file. Simply I have opened here. So what is the system port I have specified? Simply I'll copy this and I'll put it in the my script. So that's it guys. So in the similar way you can specify the UDID for the device name as well. And I'll again re modify the system dot out dot print and statement instead of test one I'll replace with the test two so that's it guys so we are having a two devices that is a device one this is a device one and this is a device two so first test will execute that is a test one will execute on the first device and the test two will get executed on the second device so let me start the execution this so this is a device one this is device two and this is where my the server that is a hub is running just wait for a few seconds so whenever a request comes to the server right because we have specified the this particular url so first we'll test one and the test two will trigger the request to the this particular hub then it will redirect to the respective nodes so if you look at here right the first request it got then it will execute the first script on the first device that is a test one and if you look at the first device that is a node one calculator app opened and it is waiting for 5 seconds then it is closing the 
APK file. So if you look at this hub logs, so another request it came, then it should redirect to the second node that is it. In the back side, you can look at the node too. So script is getting executed. So if you go to the Eclipse IDE, so console, console. So let me open the console here. So there are total two tests. So there are zero failures. So test one and test two got passed. And if you look at the even logs, test one started and already it is ended. And even in the similar way, test two also started and it is ended here. So that's all about the how you actually you can distribute the your automation script execution in the different different devices. Let's say I wanted to execute this particular script on the so and so configuration or so and so Android version. So like this you can uh, spec specify the all the capabilities. So I would highly recommend create a simple utility method so that accepts all these capabilities. So you can simply specify these UDID and the system port as a parameter to the that particular uti utility method. So that would be serving the need here, right? So what I'll do, so I'll move on to the parallel execution of the mobile automation script now. So currently we are having two, two script. So simply I'll copy this test one and test two and I'll paste it down. Now we are having a total four script. So this is our test four. So now I'll be uh, showing you how to execute how to execute your mobile automation script on parallel basis, right? So this is my test four, and this will be my test three. Then here simply I'll rename the test one with the test three. So that's it, guys. So currently we are having total test, total four test. That is test one, test two, test three. So test one and test three will run on the first device, and the test two and test four will run on the node two. That is a second device. So simply I'm executing this test ng test before executing it as a parallel test. So we'll make sure that all four automation scripts are working fine. So these are my devices and this is my server. So if you look at here, we got the one request. So I think this is a test one. So it is executing on the node one. And now we should get the request for the test two. So if you look at the request here, so we got the request for the test two. So it should execute on the node two. So it is executing on the node two. So it is already closed the app also. Now our test three should run. So if you look at here, we are getting the request for the test three. It should run on the node one. So already script is getting executed. And the last test, we got it. So if you look at here, we got the last request so if you look at in the back side so it is executing in the node 2 so if i go to the my eclipse id so we should be able to see the all the result see guys test 1 started and completed the execution test 2 started and completed the execution here and test 3 started and completed the execution here and test 4 started and completed the execution here if you look at the results there are zero failures. So this is how exactly you can 
distribute the execution in different devices or the multiple devices. So let us move on to the how exactly you can execute your script on parallel basis. So simply I'll convert this apm grid demo dot java class into the test ng. So this test ng dot xml you can rename it into the any of the file but in my case I'm not renaming it. So here we got the test ng dot xml file. So at suit level right so I'll specify the two property. First one is parallel equal to methods in the similar way I'll specify the one more property called thread count is equal to so in my case I wanted to execute two tests at a time so uh, currently I'm having the two devices so that's the reason I'm preferring to the two tests at a time so in the similar way you can specify the two here also so that's it guys so what I'll do simply I'll execute this testng.xml file as a testng suit and if you look at in the eclipse id right there are two threads already started that is test2 and the test1 so simply I'll go to the server that is a hub what we call So if you look at down right, so at the same time we got the two requests. So previously we used to get one by one. So first we got the request and it is trying to connect it here. Now we got two requests at the same time and in the back side you can see the execution is going on. So two tests got completed. Now another two test requests should come to the, this particular hub and if you look at here another two test request came to the execution. So simply it will redirect to the respective nodes. So already the execution is going on the back side. So that's it guys. I'll go to the Eclipse ID. See guys here. So first test two and test one execution started and first test two got completed. Again, test three got started. So here test one got ended. The last test that is test four started and it is ended up here. And test three here started, but it took some time, but it is ended up here. So this is how guys, this is how exactly you can execute your automation, mobile automation script on a parallel basis. So that's all I have in this session. If you like this tutorial, please click on the like button and also you can comment in the comment section. And if you have any feedbacks, please comment in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.